Well, guys, today we're going to take care of a project, something I've been uh, wanting to do for a while. So my desk gets at times a little bit messy. Um, and this is fairly standard. Now, this corner over here, we're going to work on cleaning this up a little bit. Um, but sometimes it gets this way intentionally. If I go grocery shopping and I get a bunch of stuff that either can't fit in the refrigerator, but it doesn't have to be refrigerated, like carrots, they can be out for a couple days. I'll put them in the corner and actually put jackets and stuff on top of them to keep them from rolling off or something. Particularly, you get oranges, apples, take a tight turn. <laughs> oh, there go the oranges, you know. <laughs> and so sometimes this happens intentionally. Uh, right now, um, there's not a lot back here. So let's go ahead and figure it out. We got... That's my schedule book, and this is my work log book. So jacket, that can go up there. Sweatpants, that can go up there. I don't know why I put the sweatpants there. That usually does. This guy either is down wedged by the door um, to keep airflow coming out uh, over here or on the back, whatever. Now this here, this is what I meant to record yesterday. I went down to Amazon to pick up some stuff. Uh, these are the next couple weeks projects. Mm, I'm so excited to get some of that stuff done. Um, and then this is my hoodie, which is either up there or it is um, on there keeping stuff out. Oh, there's where that computer mouse went. Unfortunately, I have way too many computer mice with all these computers. There's two of them and there's about two or three more in there. I don't know. Um, so back here we also have, this is my exercise gear. I've been trying to figure out a better place to put this. I think we're going to put it under the desk after next time I go to home base, I'm going to take out some of the things I have in here that I just don't need. And so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then this just gets thrown away. That was from one of the sands. There's uh, my peaches. Don't want the peaches to float away maps from the parks i've been to and these guys here i keep out until i get my video done or at least accurate notes done and then this is a video log book and what's this one okay that's actually that goes with maps for now and i think that just gets thrown away yeah and this is just a little picnic blanket i picked it up so i could set something down and do stretches and exercises outside very nice five dollar ten dollars i think it was at walmart so we're going to go ahead and organize this so i have a better place to put the maps rather than there and i also usually have a book out that i'm reading and so i just finished it the other day so we're going to put up a um nice wall mount organizer Woo! look at that and i after buying it i realized maybe i should have just done this with bungees instead it would have been a lot better uh so we're going to go ahead and mount this guy right around there that way this the maps books small stuff can just hang out right on top of that rather than um down there and then the other mess we have to deal with is the stuff down here now we'll move the peaches back over there we'll put the log books back over there again what happens is i have a little notepad here i have some cds i haven't gone through yet i keep my receipts over here until i'm ready to deal with them i got sticky notes for stuff that needs done and i'd like to get stuff off of this desk here and so what we're going to do is i'm going to mount back here i'm going to mount a series of bungee cords so we're going to run a series of bungee cords across here so that i can just slip these guys inside of bungee cords and they'll just kind of stay back against the wall we're going to do one up top we're going to do two on the lower ones, so small stuff like this can go here as well. And one of the factors that I need to deal with is there's a gap here. I might need to come up with a way to close up that gap. So that's what we're going to do. I uh, went into the back, and that green bag there was all my power tools. So I got my power tools, and then I came over here, and I grabbed um, some screws. I have some spare bungee from when I built the van, and then this was a bungee cord that I don't need anymore, so I took the cap off of it. We got some washers, some screws, and a lighter. Let's go Ottawa um, for getting everything all set up. And so we're gonna go ahead and get this guy mounted, get these three bungees mounted, and hopefully get the desk a whole lot more organized than it is right now.
the white one's going to be the top, and the black one's going to be on the bottom. So I guess we'll go out to about here because I should, I should be clear on the metal from there. Let's hope it is. And I am. There is plywood, if you're curious, behind it. Uh, there is plywood lining all the walls. So we have insulation and plywood, and uh, we've, of course, let some breathing room up, the, up that metal shaft. There's some breathing room. You don't want to insulate absolutely everything that allows airflow and breathing to allow moisture out of the van. All right, so now to get this guy mounted up here, and we'll kind of put it right around, hard to do that with one hand. I don't want it all the way down. I think maybe right around here, maybe just overlapping those so we have enough height there. Um, I don't know, maybe down a little bit more like that. Just trying to make sure we don't, we're not high enough to stick something in there or to fail to get something in there. So yeah, we're going to go lower like this here. So there's no mounting bracket. So I'm going to take this uh, thing off here and I'm going to actually um, put together some mounting screw patterns based on the back here. So we'll go ahead and do that. Just make sure it looks a little level. I think that looks good there. perfect time to use that light up there that I almost never use. Okay, these guys here don't know exactly how deep in they have to go. So we're just going to put them in about the same amount. Sticking out probably a little further than I think they probably should. And then we'll check if that's good or not. Actually, that's pretty perfect. OK, 
Okay, so that shouldn't go anywhere on any bumpy hills. And there we go. We can throw a book back there. We can throw that, maybe a few other things. So there we are, just a couple little tools. Um, again, if I were doing this over again for you guys thinking about how to organize stuff, I would probably not buy this again. This little cheap hunk of plastic was like $14, and I'm, I can't fit a ton into there. And I kind of realized that when I was going to use just that to organize all this. I'm like, that's not going to work. But then I'm like, let's just use bungee cords because I had leftover bungee cords, didn't cost me anything. Everything here is spare bungee cords, spare washers, just stuff I had on board. And that actually allowed me to get all this stuff organized very nicely. That's not going anywhere. That's going to survive any bumpy roads. And it keeps all the stuff off of my desk. And so my desk is now way nicer than it was. So these are those small little modifications that you think of to go through your van after you're living in it after a while. And the question is, you know, are you ever going to completely finish? Probably not. As I said, I have numerous other projects that are on the works right now. And that's what this giant bag is all about. Oh boy, I got some fun tricks in here. Got some extra stuff in there too. Uh, one of the products wasn't, it wasn't clear to me if it had the hardware. So I bought an extra hardware pack. Don't need it. I could probably send it back, but eh, for 20 bucks, I'll just find somebody who might want computer mounting hardware. If you do, let me know. Maybe I'll send you some beautiful computer mounting hardware. Let's see what I got. Look at that. Yeah, look at that. Um, but I'll show you the more when we get to our next project. Thanks for hanging out, guys. Hope you enjoy this little uh, tiny, get a little thing done in your van and so it feels so much nicer down here. Oh, I'm gonna clean the desk while I have it all cleared out. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you a little bit further down the road here on Tux Traveler.